hot the tide either way. Mm -hmm. I unloaded all the gear, so the guy, he was an executive for Redbox. I remember, it was like, I remember it was like yesterday, it's been 10 years ago, I think it was Phil. So I'm like, well, Phil, we can watch what this rain's going to do and just kind of sit tight here for like an hour. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and go for it. And Phil says, man, let's go for it. <laughs> it's about halfway across Chuckalusky Bay, and it rained so hard that you couldn't even see where you were headed. Wow. Just can you, I mean, just blackout rain. <laughs> so I, I aimed for the first beach because we had everything in dry bags, but the whole boat had flooded. So I was going to bail the boat out on the beach. We pull up on the beach, and here come the no -seams. Ooh. And so I bail in, and Phil's dancing. Load him back in the boat, start pulling, and taking them all the way out there. So, you know, three hours all the way out there. Get out there. I'm like, all right, Phil, you gather up a little bit of firewood. I'm going to set up camp. I put together the tent, get the cooler out of the boat, get all the food set up, put out a chair. I sit down, and Phil looks at me. He's like, all right, cool, man. So what do we do now? <laughs> like, now we chill, Phil. Now we chill. Chill, Phil. Now we chill, bro. Call him Dr. Chill, Phil. But Phil didn't really have no chill, so he made sure we put it back in the pole boat, and I went for two circles around Picnic Key, and we saw sea turtles and dolphins, and it was an awesome trip. Wow. Yeah, it was a good trip, but I took him around the island a couple times just to... To get them to wind down? Get them to wind down, yeah. I think it's a few laps. Because you gotta let the kids put the kid in the car seat, drive it around the block a few times in the, in the car seat. Mm -hmm.